Hello again. Uh, we're still working on angles and angle measures. And last thing we did was we worked with degrees. You know, like uh, if it goes counterclockwise, it's a positive degree. If it goes clockwise, it's a negative degree. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about radians as well. Perhaps a nice explanation will work. This is something I do in a classroom, obviously not on videotape. Uh, and it's only to an extent that if you have enough time, it's a cool thing. But if you don't, then you don't. You know, sometimes you're governed by the time that you work with. So everything's not as ideal as you would like it to be. Anyways, with that said. Uh, when we talk about radians, what we're basically talking about is uh, the radius of the circle from the center to any point on the outside that's called the radius. You know, from here to there, from here to here, whatever. The radius. And I'm going to work with the radius of 1 because that's what I always do. That's, that's my assumption. Now, I know you don't always work with the radius of 1 in trig. I, I'm well aware of that. But, you know, for all practical sense and purpose, working with the radius of 1 and then building up on skills is probably the best way to go. So, anyways. So here's the hypothetical that I pose to students. And I ask them, uh, you know, um, cut out a, um, you know, a piece of yarn. Make yourself a circle. They make themselves a compass. And we work with yarn, which is kind of cool because it's, you know, out of the ordinary, I suppose. And uh, they cut a piece of string about this big, you know, which is the size of the radius. And I tell them, uh, you know, what I want you to do is I want you to line this piece of yarn against the edge of the circle, the, the circumference of the circle itself, you know, the outside of it. Uh, how high does the piece of string go when you line up? And they say, oh, it's about this high. And I ask uh, students, you know, well, how, how far is that? And they said, well, it looks like it's more, well, you know, you have to line it up like this. You don't just line it up like that. It's not a straight line. You actually have to fit it to the outside of the line. Anyways, so they do that. And they say, well, it looks like it's more than 45, but it's less than 90. I'm like, okay, very good. That, in fact, is the case. Uh, this would be embarrassing if I forgot. I hope I didn't, but uh, one radian... And that's what we call it, uh, you know, because we're actually taking the piece of string and we're putting it along, is approximately, I can't remember if it's 53 or 57 off the top of my head, but it's approximately, I think it's like 57 actually, is approximately 57 degrees. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Pretty sure. Okay, so one radian is about 57 degrees. And what I, then I ask my students is like, how many, uh, Radians will it take to get to this side of the circle? And said, "Do you want us to do the whole thing?" I'm like, nah, nah, just one, just go halfway. If you if you finish fast enough, then go ahead and try the whole thing. But if you uh, don't, you know, tell me how much it goes to. And they do that. They take their radius, and they line up the string, and they do this. And you know, a lot of students just say three, and I say, "So it's exactly three." And they say, "No, nah, I can't figure out the rest of it, but you know, three goes up to about like right there, and then you got a little left over." And, uh, you know, occasionally some of the, uh, you know, I guess brighter students or like the ones who are a little bit sharp will say, you know, I, I think I know what it is, but I'm a little too embarrassed to say. And you look at the student and sometimes you can tell whether they know or an answer. And I'm like, okay, what is it? Well, it's more than three, but it's really close to three. I don't want, and since we're working with, you know, geometry and circles, I want to say that it's pi. And then they're kind of smiling. You're right, actually, it is. Uh, going here to here will take pi radians. And they're like, ah, oh, that's so cool. And then I say, well, how far is this in terms of an angle measure? And they say, uh, that's 180 degrees. I say, well, how many radians is it? And they say, uh, it's pi. Okay, very good. So what we're going to say is this, 180 degrees is pi radians. And then you would write pi radians. You, just, you don't just write pi, you write pi radians. And I say, oh, okay. Uh, how many radians is it for here? Zero degrees. And people are confused. They don't know that off the top of their head. They say, is this a trick question? I say, no, it's not. How many pieces of string does it take, to, um, does it take for zero degrees? And they say, um, we're not moving it. I'm like, exactly. So how many radians is it? And they say, uh, uh, zero? Yeah, perfect. Oh, I forgot zero degrees. Let's put zero degrees here. I don't know if I have room up there. It is zero radians. My fault. Anyways, so with this information, I ask them to figure this out, you know, from 30 to 360. And then occasionally a student will say, can we do negative angles? I'm like, yeah, if you do negative angles, then the answer will be, like, if you do negative 180, then it would be negative pi. That's all there is to it. Like, uh, given this information, can you fill out this chart? And then, you know, a student says, you know, I give up. I can't really do it. I'm like, really? Really? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I can't do it. I'm like, okay. Uh, 90 is half of 180. If I divide this in half, what is it? And someone says, it's pi over 2. I'm like, yeah, it is. 90 degrees 
is pi over 2. And somebody says, um, is 360 2 pi? I'm like, well, how did you get that? Because 180 times 2 is 360, so 2 times pi is going to be that. Yeah, good. And then some students feel a little bit better about this. And then I start asking different questions. I say, okay, let's look at 45. Uh, what's 45 in relation to? And some students will say it's half of this, 45 is half of 90, or they'll say it's a fourth of 180. And if it's a fourth of 180, it's just 1 fourth times pi, or pi divided by 4, which is pi over 4. And then uh, we do this one, uh, 30 degrees, and they say, okay, what's 30 in relation to pi? And it's like, it's a sixth of it, so it's pi over 6. And then I say, okay, working with 30 and 45 only, fill in the rest. And then students say, yeah, yeah, I can't get this now. 60 degrees is twice 30 degrees. So it's 2 pi over 6. But that reduces to pi over 3. Now you have all the information you need in order to figure everything out. And I'll show you what I mean. Uh, 90 degrees and is and 180 degrees, this is pi over 2. This is 2 pi over 2, which is just pi. Let me show you, in intervals of 90, pi, 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, which is reduces to pi. Uh, where is the next uh, degree of 90? 90, 90, 180, 270. 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. You can't reduce it. 4 pi over 2, which is 2 pi. Pi over 6. 2 pi over 6, which is pi over 3, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, which is 2 pi over 3, 5 pi over 6. I didn't do 135 because it's not in relation to 30. 5 pi over 6, 6 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 8 pi over 6, which is 4 pi over 3. 9 pi over 6, which is 3 halves. Uh, 10 pi over 6, which is 5 thirds. Yeah. Uh, 11 pi over 6. 12 pi over 6, which is 2 pi. Uh, 45. 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. And by the way, when I say them, I'm reducing them. 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, which is a pi. 5 pi over 4. And 5 fourths can't reduce. Um, pi, pi. 6 pi over 4, which is 3 that. Uh, 7 pi over 4. There you go. And you filled it up. And uh, what gets students is they say, well, yeah, it's easy when you do it, but is there a way that I can memorize this? And I'm like, yeah, you can. Um, because these are just special angles. So what happens if somebody gives you negative uh, 10, let's say. And so I want to change negative 10 degrees, and you've got to say that it's a degree, because if you say negative 10, it could be negative 10 radians. So you've got to make sure it's, it says degrees. Negative 10 radians. If you want to change, I'm sorry, negative 10 degrees. If you want to change negative 10 degrees into radians, what you do is you multiply by pi over 180. And I tell students it's pi over 180 because pi and 180 are the same thing in terms of a measurement. And that's it. So when I do this, cancel out the zeros, that's negative pi over 18. So negative 10 degrees is negative pi over 18. Uh, the reason why that works is because the degree is on the bottom and the degree is on the bottom and on the top, so the degrees cancel out, and now the answer will be a radian. Uh, okay, what happens if I want to change? And let's do something we know. Uh, pi over 4. Why not? Pi over 4 into degrees. Because I would rather work with degrees. Yeah, so would anybody. Okay, instead of multiplying by pi over 180, multiply by 180 degrees over pi. Pi's cancel. 180 divided by 4, 45 degrees. And that's how you convert radians to degrees and degrees to radians. Pretty cool. Uh, using the ideas of the trigon uh, trigonometric functions that we did uh, formerly, and you know, working with angles, we're supposed to be able to do a uh, basic trick. Very difficult for students, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to
try figuring it out in the unit circle. And we're going to start bringing it together. And after we bring it together, we have to graph it. And after we graph it, we have to use other fundamental laws, properties, ideas of trig. Uh, with that said, have a good day for now. Goodbye.